<laughs> Look at I found. Yeah, I remember the, uh, Aaron put this up. Not this video, but it's something like that and the similarity of this guy getting busted. Well, check this out. We got a Texas school superintendent arrested in child sex sting. Oh, yeah. Of a child sex sting operation. Investigators say Michael Superintendent Stevens Michael sent Stevens lewd photos is accused of soliciting sex with, with an officer he claimed was a 50 year old girl. Old. <laughs> NBC News correspondent Priscilla Thompson joins us now from Houston. Priscilla, this is incredibly disturbing. What more can you tell us about what we know? Yeah, Ellison, very disturbing. And earlier today, that suspect, Michael Stevens, was in court here in Houston. And some of those charges and allegations were read out, including text messages between uh, him and this undercover agent who he believed was a 15-year-old girl with him describing in very explicit detail what he would do to her, what he would want her to do to him. And so it was incredibly uh, concerning. And that's on top of what we've already heard from investigators that he had been sending uh, explicit and nude photos to uh, this person who he believed was a young girl and also asking for those in return. I want to play a little bit of what the constable had to say about those photos and also uh, the allegations against Stevens. Take a listen. And some of his disturbing photos appear to be taken in his office. Stevens has been around children his entire work life. He has been a coach, a principal, and an assistant principal in various towns across North Texas. And so investigators say that they are looking into the possibility that there are uh, victims out there who may have been targeted by Stevens at some other point, given uh, this career that he has had really working with children as a principal, as a assistant principal, as a teacher and a coach throughout school districts across uh, North Texas. And so uh, he is being held on a hundred thousand dollar bond. And I should point out this was part of a larger sting operation in which there were six others who were were also arrested for similar behavior. Whoa. Allison, Priscilla, have we heard anything from the school district? Yeah, so the school district did release a statement when all of this uh, happened yesterday. They said that they were made aware of the arrest and the charges, and they also uh, said that uh, the superintendent, Michael Stevens, was taken into custody until more facts are confirmed. No further information Here's can be shared. Wow. The Board of Trustees will be convening a meeting to review this matter and take appropriate action. And we do see that they have scheduled a special board meeting for Monday morning, where we expect that this uh, may come up. We've already seen uh, members of the community commenting under that post, very concerned about this and sort of where this small school district of only around 600 students goes from here. And we're also hearing investigators just reminding parents to stay vigilant about what their children are doing on social media uh, to avoid uh, potentially being targeted by a predator in this way. All right, Priscilla Ellison Thompson, thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And this is why these predator poacher channels are very effective and very important around. You know, like the channels like CC Unit Goes, Predator Poachers Official, like Alex, Shonda and Eric with Predator Catchers, and uh, Muncie. Then you got, and a few others out there are very important as well. And the supporters like that. Got people like, you know, real supporters, not like stupid Predator and Sabby and Christy and Nikki Cook and Angela, the real supporters like PHI and, and a few others are going to chat. Like Ali B, yes, yes, real, real supporters and the real uh, deal out there. And he was about here, my job, peace out.